With Acumatico, we are a cloud ERP solution. I'm the director of partner recruiting for Acumatica, and really what sets us apart is we're, we're a very robust and full featured solution that is considered ERP and our target audience is uh, companies that have uh, do services, distribution, manufacturing, of course, e-commerce, and a wide variety of other solutions. It's our ISVs that help us extend into other markets and functionality. So it's a great pleasure today to have so many of, of our great partners represented and they can tell you more about what our combined solution does. But um, to summarize things in a nutshell, we are a true cloud ERP solution. We're all browser-based. We can be deployed in our cloud, in any public or private cloud. We can also be deployed on-prem. And unlike many of the cloud competitors, those aren't um, options. Also, you can subscribe to our software or you can actually purchase a license. And that gives us a lot of flexibility in being able to address customers' needs and allowing them to buy and invest and deploy in the way that they choose to do so. So with that, I think I'll, I'll leave it right there. And again, thanks to everyone who's participating and who has chosen to attend today. Thank you so much for that, Don. And then we have uh, Jazz Systems. And Jazz specializes in software solutions for manufacturing companies. They have an advanced manufacturing software suite that integrates with Acumatica. Uh, so that direct integration from multi-site manufacturing planning and control system so you can uh, integrate your production planning and shop floor with customer management, sales orders, inventory purchasing, accounting, financial reporting, make to stock, make to order, engineer to order, project centric, job shop, repetitive. So all those manufacturing processes that you might have. Uh, those are all automated using the Jazz Enhancement for Acumatica and integrated seamlessly with Acumatica. Uh, we also have ScanCo. They're a leader in warehouse management applications, and they're a very mature company. Uh, they've come across lots of a lot of warehouse management requirements along the way. So uh, they chances are they have a solution to address any of your warehouse management needs. The great thing about ScanCo is that they have uh, their app applications available on iOS, Android, and Windows devices. So out in the warehouse, uh, when you're picking and packing those uh, packages, uh, the, uh, the personnel can use their Android, Windows, and iOS devices to interact with Acumatica, so everything, uh, all of the data flows through seamlessly. We have Starship. They're a strategic UPS ready partner, gold FedEx compatible solution provider. They're also a very mature shipping solution provider. They've been offering shipping solutions since 1989. They launched their Acumatica in interface in 2016, and they have a, a majority market share of shipping software integrations in the Sage and Microsoft Dynamics markets. Uh, and we have a full service merchant services provider with us as well, North American Payment Solutions or American Payment Solutions. And they serve thousands of small, medium, and large organizations. The great thing about American Payment Solutions is that they have uh, learned how to get you the best rates with their level three processing. So they use all the customer information in Acumatica to make sure that they can get the best rate on a, a sales order transaction uh, when you're processing your credit cards. So just to run through the workflow here, we're going to start off with Jazz. We're going to have Tom Van Cleef demonstrate our manufacturing uh, enhancement, work order, bill of materials, and all those things that go into the manufacturing processes that are integrated with Acumatica. So an order is taken, the, and then if it needs to be manufactured, then that order is sent into Jazz. And then it is picked and packed with ScanCo. So we're going to have Christy demonstrate the ScanCo pick and pack functionality out in the warehouse. And then Caroline's going to take it from there and demonstrate the Starship uh, interface that will select the most optimum carrier given all the rules of the shipment, the dimensional weight of the package, where the package is going, where the customer is located, and get you the best carrier based on all the rules of the shipment. 
And then that information is going to go back into Acumatica, populate all the, the tracking numbers so customer service can have access to all the shipment details and provide that feedback on the line with customers. And then if a credit card is the optimal form of payment, American Payment Solutions would be used to process that accounts receivable transaction and get the best rate. So with that said, I'm going to pass it over here to Tom so he can start off with the Jazz Manufacturing System. Great. Let me know when you can see my screen. There you are, Tom. Can you see me? I think we're going to start here. You, there you go. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, tell you about this solution in seven minutes, so it's going to be uh, nearly impossible, but I would like to say to you, if you have questions uh, about specifics, be more than happy to discuss with them uh, at length at any point. Uh, JOS is uh, a very sophisticated manufacturing control system that is directly integrated in with Acumatica. It's all we work with, uh, and if you look across the top, uh, you'll see the manufacturing tab. Uh, is added when you have jams. Uh, every bit of information requirements for integration are automatic. You'll never do information entering twice. Uh, but within the manufacturing capabilities, uh, we have a flexible system that will go from uh, make to order, uh, engineer to order, all the way to uh, nearly process. Uh, at uh, formulation, co-products, byproducts, we have an issue. I'm going to come over here to the left of the bill of materials. The basis for the system is going to allow you to uh, build any product of any complexity with as many steps as you would like, uh, with materials coming in directly at the work center level. We actually combine bills of material and routings uh, so that they're completely integrated together. Uh, so we go down some of the tab here, uh, work centers, designed any way you would like. We're able to track. Uh, overhead of all varieties, work calendars by the work center, so you can have ones working more efficiently than others, ones that go so fast that you need to uh, uh, shut them down. We also schedule tools and machines, uh, so you're going to have the ability to do uh, complete control over your process. Once we get an order or once there's an opportunity inside material requirements planning where production needs to take place, an automatic order will be created in a plan status. You'll be able to approve that. Uh, from there, you'll be able to do labor, move materials. Uh, we'll be tracking WIP, uh, and you'll have ability to do maintenance, changes uh, on orders, uh, entering information. So this will be a, essentially a one-stop shop. Uh, from an MRP perspective, uh, the system also will allow you to have uh, complete control uh, as to what is planned and what is not. Uh, it will take into account sales uh, as well as internal demand in all of its planning for you, and it will lay up work orders or production orders. Uh, again, you'll be in a situation where you, you will need to approve those, um, but this is a very powerful tool. Uh, that can either uh, have you buy way too much inventory uh, or it can really help you uh, make sure that pieces, parts are there uh, at a time when you absolutely need them. On the make to order side, the engineer to order, uh, straight from sales orders or in that module, we can create estimates uh, with non-inventoried items. Uh, so you could say to a customer, I can build that. Uh, you can go out and do engineering work, design work, uh, as well as uh, selecting pieces, parts, uh, inventory items, uh, and build an estimate that once uh, it turns into an order, uh, you'll be able to uh, immediately pass it across. Another thing that comes in very handy in a make-to-order circumstance is if you have uh, inclusion and exclusion logic. So I'm building uh, a door. I can have multiple size door jams. I can have multiple uh, door handles. I can uh, select hinges. But if I particularly select one type of hinge, for example, it will eliminate other options. Uh, this can be done in a day-to-day -day process for sales, uh, for engineering, uh, and uh, for you to be better able to manage uh, items 
instead of having a thousand part numbers, uh, you're going to have one that can configure into different items. Uh, lastly, I would say that you can attach uh, documents, photographs, and videos all throughout our system, whether that's on the floor, uh, whether that's taking CAD drawings, uh, whether that's taking in notes on the floor to at whatever length you would like. Uh, we also have the ability to bring in CSV files uh, so that uh, we're able to bring in old bills of material fly directly into the system. I'm sure that uh, I've taken up uh, uh, my time, but uh, I think that's where I'll leave it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Tom. Let me get my screen sharing here. By the way, thank you, Tom. I really appreciated that. That's a that's a nice overview. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, thanks again, Tom, and thanks everyone for attending today. Uh, so. My name is Christy Lamello. I'm a software specialist here at Scanco for our Actinatica clients. Uh, so I'm really excited to get the opportunity to talk to you guys today uh, about how our solutions can help to obtain more accurate inventory levels uh, by decreasing your shipping errors and also leading to uh, faster shipping time uh, with a PIC process uh, instituted in your warehouse. Um, everything's going to be integrated seamlessly with Acumatica. Um, so, because we are new to Acumatica, I wanted to start on just kind of give you a little bit of background on our experience um, with the barcoding industry in here. So, Scanco's been in business since 1989. Uh, so, we've been leading, uh, we've been the leading WMS solution in the mid-market industry, uh, providing direct integration into ERP systems. And while we've worked with several ERPs throughout the years, um, we're really excited to launch the Acumatica product. Oops, and I, my screen froze, so uh, let's see. Give me one second. Okay. Well, we'll just continue on. So. Uh, Anyways, we're bringing two solutions to the Acumatica space. Um, today, I'm going to be focusing on the shipping side of things. However, uh, I got my screen now. There we go. Okay. So, however, um, I wanted to just go over the manufacturing piece as well. Uh, so, with the manufacturing piece, we're going to be bringing to you uh, scanning and validating for your manufacturing transactions. Um, so we're going to uh, offer for you labor tracking and time cards. Everything's going to be, uh, to be integrated with your JOS system. You're going to be able to track your material issues as well as your production entries. And you're also going to be able to do any time card entries as well as field service and dispatch. So, our second solution that I'm going to be focusing on today is Skanko Warehouse. Uh, so, Skanko Warehouse is going to be um, what we've been, you know, the basis of our business for so many years. Um, so, some of the core transactions that we're going to bring with that solution uh, is going to be your purchase order receipts, your physical accounts, and sales order shipping. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how our picking and shipping um, for a sales order uh, can all be done from a mobile scanning device running the ScanCo warehouse software. Um, where we're really standing out from the other solutions is going to be in our technology. Um, so you're investing all this money in your new ERP system, and on Acumatica, you're using one of the most advanced cloud-based ERPs. Uh, so when you're looking at solutions for your warehouse, uh, environment, we've found that oftentimes you're getting outdated software or technology on the scanning front. Um, you know, you're still seeing those scanners that are more of the 1980s, not 1989 style. Uh, they look more like a fax machine. Uh, so 
really we want to eliminate that by coming into this channel. We want to give you more options. So we've taken our knowledge and experience from working on iOS and Android, and we brought that over into the cloud-based ERP solution. So same knowledge, and we just did a little bit of redesigning of our, uh, you know, our base platform. And now you're going to have that touch-driven interface. It's going to be easy and familiar to your users. Um, so it's going to be much easier with the implementation uh, as far as getting everyone trained and up and running. So you're also going to be able to connect uh, via Wi-Fi or cellular. But for those situations when you don't have Wi-Fi or cellular available, uh, you're also going to be able to run an offline mode not connected to Actimatica. So a key piece I want to make sure to go over is our hardware solution. So hardware is going to be key with making your decision on what you're going to be comfortable with in the warehouse. Um, so luckily with ScanCo, your options are definitely going to be endless on this front. Uh, so you're going to have the freedom of picking your own platform. Uh, you're also going to be able to mix and match your platforms, which is great. So you can have those iOS, Android wars on the warehouse. Um, but by switching to those iOS and Android platforms, you're going to save any up to 65% we're seeing on cost of starting up with your hardware. Um, and you're also just really getting an opportunity to enable your entire team to have the technology in their hands uh, for a lot less now. Uh, so one of the hardware options that I wanted to highlight um, is the MX-1000. This was a huge hit at Acumatica Summit. Um, everyone loved it. It is still giving you that rugged scanner feel. Uh, there's a pistol grip option. Um, but the great side of this is that it is Android or iOS capable and uh, you can also easily upgrade those devices as technology grows uh, for a fraction of the cost um, on those platforms. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch my screen over into uh, my portal. And give me one second to do that. So I'll take you through that. Okay, so this is the ScanCo Acumatica portal. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you the ability to control what users are able to access on their devices. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in. It's all web based. So this is going to allow you to set up your user profiles, your permissions. It's also going to give you the capabilities to manage your devices. So you'll see here at my home screen, I have all my devices. You can name your devices. So you can have them set up for all of your different employees. And then you can also deactivate them. So maybe you lose one. You don't want someone to be able to you know, get into that device. You can deactivate your software uh, all through the portal. You'll be able to manage that easily. I'll go over to my users tab now. And you'll see I have all my different users, their login information. Uh, you can also add their passwords and so maybe they forget it. Uh, you can all do that through this one central location. Maybe an employee isn't with you guys any longer. You want to deactivate that profile. Uh, you can also do that with the checkboxes here. My profiles tab, you'll see I can actually set up uh, multiple different profiles. I have one main one here. Uh, and this, I can copy to multiple employees or maybe you just want to have a profile for one individual employee. Uh, but you can actually set up all of your different um, settings and what you're able to do on the, um, on the handheld. Uh, you can actually have your uh, units of measure change. So we do, um, do support the multiple units of measure in Acumatica. So whether you're doing eaches, cases, or, or pallets. So this is where you're going to manage all of your, uh, your user login. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my demo device. So I've already logged in on my demo device uh, using my unique user ID and password. So now I'm at the home screen. So I just want to quickly touch on a few of the different uh, options within the Scanco Warehouse software solution. 
Uh, but then I'm going to go in and take you guys through a full sales order. So I'm at that home screen now. I'm going to go into my inventory. I can do inventory transfers in or transfers out. I can also do physical count. So whether I'm doing count by item or count by bin, a lot of people are doing count by bin for more of your cycle counting. Uh, they'll select a few bins and then do counts on those. And then also you can do purchase order. So whether you're receiving by purchase order or off of an item. And then within my utilities tab, I'm gonna have a couple different options here. So you can do a locator by item or a locator by bin. So this is gonna pull up all the locations of your items and also the quantities you have available. You'll see down towards the bottom, there's a few different options, speed test and barcode. This is where you can actually test your barcode to see if it's going to be reading accurate. So now I'm going to go into sales order. You can do ship by order or ship by item. I'm going to go into ship by order today and show you guys how I'll process a sales order. So it's going to first prompt me for my sales order. So you can either print out a barcoded pick ticket, which a lot of our customers are doing, and they'll just scan from that pick ticket or you could key that information in. You'll see that a keyboard popped up on my screen. Or if I wanted to, I could also do a lookup here. So if I press enter, that's gonna pull up a list of all of my open orders inside of Axiomatica. So once I press that lookup, now it's gonna give me a list of all those orders. So I can scroll through that and select from there. I can also sort by a lot of different criteria here. And then also I could filter if I wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna select my order that I wanna go ahead and ship. And now it's prompting me for my items. So at this point, I'm testing my items. I scan an item, let's say it's incorrect. The system's going to be seamlessly integrated with Acumatica, so it's gonna let me know uh, that that's the incorrect item. So everything's validated all in real time. Now I scan my correct item. It's gonna prompt me then for my bin number, so I'll scan my bin number. And now it's prompting me for my quantity. So you can key in your quantity, or you could do a scan each where you would do more of the grocery store approach. And now it's just prompting me for my next item. So I've gone into my next item lookup, and at this point it's giving me in that lookup a list of all of my items on this sales order. You'll see that first item that I just shipped, it's going to actually be highlighted red right now. So that's going to indicate that I've already done that item. Now I just have two items left to pick and ship at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and you can select from this list. So I'll go ahead and select my item. And once I've selected my item, now it asks me for my bin. So you can continue scanning that bin or keying it in. Maybe I want to know where that item is. When I press the bin lookup, now it shows me all of my bin locations and the quantities on hand for those for that item. So I select my bin, and now I'll just key my quantity that I'm picking and shipping. So now at this point, I'm scanning my last item. Again, I scan an invalid item. It's going to prompt me let me know that I'm doing a missed pick. And now at this point, I'm gonna rescan my item, my bin location. It's a lotted item, so it's going to prompt me for a lot number, so I'll go ahead and scan that lot. Or if I don't have my lot, I could also do a lookup. So I'll do a lookup there, key in the quantity of 10 that I have left to ship. If I made a mistake, I could also go into a lookup to see. Now you'll see all my items are red. That means I've got them all picked and ready to ship. But if I made a mistake, I could also delete those off in my review screen. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of my review. And I'm going to go ahead and send that into Acumatica. It's going to prompt me and let me know. And then once I've sent it, it's going to just let me know that I've sent everything over complete. 
and successfully. And at this point is when I would hand it off to Starship uh, to process that shipment then. So I'll go ahead and uh, hand that off to you, Carolyn. Another great presentation. Thank you very much. Caroline, are you there? I think maybe there might be an audio issue with Caroline. Oh no, that would be a shame. Let's see. She could just be away from Hey guys, it's Caroline, sorry. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I took myself off mute and just released my headset completely, so. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Well, we're glad Technical to have you. Technical difficulties. Thanks. Can you see my screen okay, Adrian? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So um, what you're looking at now is the Starship shipping application. Um, this is where you could process both your small package and LTL shipments from one user interface. Um, if you happen to be using something like UPS World Ship, FedEx Ship Manager, this would take the place of all those systems and allow you to produce um, everything from one system and combine everything together. So once you've um, defined your um, shipment information from the ScanCo handhelds, you would go into Starship then and you would ship against that shipment. So um, Starship here in the source area, I just put in my shipment number. I'm going to put that in and retrieve the document from Acumatica. And Starship's going to translate the information from that shipment. So things like the ship via, um, the billing type, um, as well as obviously the ship to on this order. Starship does have an address validation function where it validates against the post office database for zip plus four residential commercial. And we also do secondary um, validation with UPS and FedEx for that residential flag to make sure that the charges that we, showing, we are showing are accurate and what's getting written back to Acum Acumatica is accurate. Um, in this case here, um, you'll see uh, we're bringing in the item level information. Um, Starship does have the ability to do auto packing um, if you want it to. Otherwise, we can just bring the packages in from the shipment if they're defined. Just going to expand this so you can see the items that were actually brought in from the shipment in Acumatica. If I drill into the item, you'll notice there are some, there's some information from Acumatica. And actually, Acumatica is pretty good from a shipment perspective in that they store a lot of information um, specific to shipping that can help automate the process and workflow. If there's any information that is not stored in Acumatica, Starship does have its own database. It can store that information in. Um, and when we pull the Acumatica shipment, we will go into the Starship database. We'll look up the item number plus the unit of measure to retrieve any other information that can help process the shipment. So for example, um, with LTL, you can store the um, NMFC code, subcode class, for international shipments, maybe you have the Schedule B code um, and you want to store that in Starship, you can do all of that there, or you can bring it in and map it from, Mac from Acumatica. I can do a rate shop from Starship. So in this case, Starship's going to go out to all the available carriers that I have loaded in the system and give me my options. Um, you'll see here that I'm looking at my list right here, but if I click Contract, I'll be looking at my actual contract or negotiated rates with the carrier. Uh, so Starship supports all the major um, parcel carriers. We also support almost two dozen LTL carriers where we directly connect up to their servers and your, use your credentials to access your negotiated live rates. So if I'm good with the ship via that came in from Acumatica, I just hit ship and process here. Starship will generate the barcoded shipping labels. It'll communicate with the carrier for any tendering, and then it'll also update Acumatica in real time. This is just an example of the shipping label that can print out. We call this our smart label. It's going to be a combination shipping label plus packing list. Starship also supports printing this packing list to a thermal label printer. So if you want to have um, two labels print for every shipment, you can do that. You just put the packing list on the inside and stick the shipping label on the outside. Otherwise, you can just print the four by six, seven or eight inch shipping label directly to a thermal printer. Starship also supports a branded shipping label. So if you want to put your logo at the top, um, all that's supported as well. 
and you can define any number of templates for the um, documents and um, label printouts. These, docu these templates can contain parameters on when they're printed. So if you are um, you know, working with trading partners or drop shipping and you want the uh, packing slip to look slightly different under certain circumstances, you can configure Starship to print out specific packing lists that have a, a certain look and feel. Um, for that particular bill to or whatever field you want to use in Acumatica as the parameter. So I wanted to go back into Acumatica. I'm just going to go into that 1757 shipment to see what got updated as a result of the shipment. First thing here on the shipping settings, you'll see that the freight cost and the freight amount are both updated. So if you um, the freight cost is actually going to be your negotiator contract rate. The freight amount can also include freight rules, which can be defined in Starship. So if you don't want to write the freight amount or you want to make the freight amount zero, um, if the order total is over a certain amount or for certain um, customers, you might want to um, give more of a discount. You can configure that all in Starship and that freight amount will automatically be populated here. Um, if I did switch the ship via, there's a reverse translation that happens here for the ship via so you'd know um, which carrier and service combination was actually used. We can also set the status to confirmed after you ship it just to help with that process and make the workflow a lot faster from there. And then on the note side of things, you can um, add a little note here if you want to have additional detail about the shipment. But you may not really need that because if you go to the packages tab, you'll see that on the packages tab, we've um, given you the box information. So each box that I shipped out um, has the box ID associated to that box. Um, the tracking information and the carrier and service that were used. In addition to updating Acumatica, we'll also give you a couple other utilities. One would be the email notifications. So our email notification viewer, let me just go in here real quick and log in. Let's take a look at that email that got generated here. So here's the 1757 that we just shipped out. Um, you'll notice that you can brand this however you'd like. So if you want to put your logo in there or you want to put the header and footer of your actual website to make it look more um, like your um, shopping cart, you can do that. The nice thing here is that this would replace the carrier supplied email that a lot of customers are using. And it gives you the ability to add things like the sales order number into the subject or maybe the PO number, which would be relevant to the person who's receiving this. Um, you also have now the ability to add your item information here, quantity ordered, quantity shipped. If you have the item to box level detail, you can actually show your customer that granularity of this is the tracking number and these are the items associated to it. Send them back to your website with a little discount to um, promote some repeat business. And then the last thing you'll see is a little dashboard here. This gives you access to Starship shipment history without having to actually access the shipping client itself. Um, one nice thing that our customers um, find uh, compared to some of the um, carrier supplied systems is it gives you the ability to look shipments up by things other than tracking number and shipment date. So if you have the PO number or the order number or even the customer name, you can look them up and you can drill in to find additional detail about that shipment. Okay, I think that's all I had on the Starship side, and Patty, it's off to you. Thank you, Caroline, and I uh, also wanted to thank Adrian and Don for bringing us together. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with Acumatic of the True Cloud ERP platform, you're able to take advantage of all of the solutions you're seeing at this webinar today. With Jams, of course, you'll be able to take advantage of their manufacturing control, Scanco with real-time warehouse and management, including multi-bin, which is available for Android, iOS, and Windows. And not to mention Starship for the most experienced integrated shipping solution available out there. I do also want to mention the fact that with American Payment Solutions, you have a trusted credit card industry expert. So with that said, I'd like to just briefly show you how we work within Acumatica and how seamless our integration as well as JAMS, Scanco and Starship will work for you to provide you with the full solution. With regards to setting up a credit card, it's very simple. You can see I'm in finance, accounts receivable, customer maintenance. You can actually enter as many credit cards as you need to per customer. 
And you can see I have a visa here. You can also include the different credit card types. Notice how we do not show the full credit card number. This is due to PCI compliance. We provide PCI compliance assistance at absolutely no charge. We also do not charge for the credit card processing module, installation, implementation, or training. You receive all of this at absolutely no charge. We provide a migration utility if you are switching from another processor over to American Payment Solutions, so you won't have to key in all of the different credit card information to begin with. Now, we've made it very simple to be able to process a transaction within Acumatica as well. So if we go to the sales orders, and bear with me, it takes a few seconds here. Once we go to the sales orders, we're actually able to follow your standard Acumatica process. And we made it so that once you do complete the process, you have options as far as how you would like to accept the payment. You can accept a pre-authorization and the pre-authorization length of time, I would like to underline, can be anywhere between seven and 30 days. You are not limited to the standard seven days that most processors limit a pre-authorization. Within the sales order, you can process that pre-authorization or directly capture the funds. It's entirely up to you. And what you've seen me doing so far is the standard Acumatica functionality. I'm gonna go ahead and save this sales order. And now I will go to the payment settings to show you how the credit card that we had already preset in finance will become available to me right at the sales order entry. At this point, because we follow Acumatica's security guidelines, the user, based on the security settings, will be able to add a new card on the fly, edit the card, or completely delete it. You can see the information that was already chosen here. This is actually the default. And now they have two options, either authorize the transaction or capture the payment. I'm gonna go ahead and authorize the transaction. And while it's authorizing, I'd also like to show you where this transaction ends up. We're actually going through our gateway, verifying the information that you've, that you've given us regarding the credit card and making sure that it's correct. If the information is inaccurate, we will have a pop-up window to indicate which information needs to be corrected. At this point, when we initially set up the Acumatica integration, you decide whether you'd like to allow the user to continue if there is an, an error message or if they should stop and go back and fix it. In my case, because of demo purposes, even if I would have gotten that pop-up window, I could continue just because we want to make sure to continue. Notice how my pre-authorization is complete and the pre-authorization number will appear. This pre-authorization number will remain with the transaction for the life of the transaction. And let me show you exactly where the pre-authorization is coming from. While at the same time, I can introduce you to our portal. Now, one of the things that we get asked 100% of the time is, why would I choose ATS over, say, for example, authorize.net? There are multiple reasons, and one of them is level three. So I'm gonna show you that you can actually process transactions through the portal, and you would have to key in all of this information. This is all information that we deliver to Visa and MasterCard in order to get level three rates for our merchants. I will explain exactly what level three means after I show you where the transaction ended up. So let's look at the transaction and walk through level three processing so that you can understand why level three processing would be so important to you. We give you a bird's eye view of all of your transactions. The transaction ID will appear. We will also reference the sales order number and show you the last four digits of the card. If you click on the transaction ID, you will notice all of the information is pre-filled and all of this information is actually coming from Acumatica. Not only the credit card information, but billing, ship to, order, we go down to the very line level detail. And once again, I'd like to remind you, you can either capture or pre-authorize. So all of this information that we pull from Acumatica, when we deliver it to Visa and MasterCard, will allow us to qualify a transaction for level three rates. Now let me explain what level three rates mean. Basically, level three rates will allow you to receive a lower rate per transaction whenever you're processing a business to business or business to government transaction within the continental US. We've created the integration to make sure that as a user, 
you do not have to key in the required fields by Visa and MasterCard, which are the fields that you see on the screen. Most processors will say they have level three. They will have the merchants key in the different fields, which of course becomes almost impossible if you're processing one transaction after the other. As I mentioned, we deliver all of these fields guaranteeing the best possible rates. And I can tell you, rates can be cut almost in half simply by allowing us to process transactions through level three for you. So I was talking to you about reasons why people usually ask us about authorize.net and reasons why to switch to American Payment Solutions. One of the main reasons, level three is completely automated with us. Other reasons can be the fact that with authorize.net you have three different types of providers involved. There's a gateway provider, a merchant provider, and a software provider. So at the end of the day, if you do run into an issue, who fixes what? Who tests the update? In our case, if you process through American Payment Solutions with our very seamless integration to Acumatica, we handle everything that has to do with credit card processing. You won't have to struggle with the finger pointing because we will resolve the issues and then we'll, we'll discuss who caused what. So one of the things that I also wanted to cover were the different challenges and the solutions that we have to offer. The list that you see here was actually created based on feedback from our merchants. One of the biggest complaints is the fact that merchant statements are very confusing. Let us teach you how to decipher them. We will be glad to walk you through your existing statements and explain where the fees are coming from, who's making the money where, and how much your processor is currently making on your account. If you switch to American Payment Solutions, you will notice we offer very transparent merchant statements. We want our merchants to know how much everybody is making, how much everybody is saving. We also guarantee our rates in writing so you don't have to worry about the rates creeping up on you. We provide assistance with PTI compliance at no charge. Level three processing, and I want to underline the fact that it's automated, you don't have to do anything extra to obtain the very lowest rates possible available in the industry. As I mentioned before, we do not charge for installation, setup, training, maintenance, or support. We offer very simple gateway fees. It's a flat $15 fee no matter what the volume. We also offer 12-hour funding. We have been notified that many processors will promise next day funding. What they truly mean is 24, sometimes 48 hours later. With us, you will have the funds available in your bank account the next morning, so long as you batch out by 9 p.m. Eastern. We have a dedicated support team. Here's something that I like to brag about. I, myself, as a consumer, hate to call someone for support and have to click 20 times before I can reach a human being. With us, you will never have to go through that. We guarantee 24-7, 365 days a year, a live human being will be on the other side of the line whenever you call our support team. We offer very robust reporting capabilities on our portal. The online management and reporting is immense. We have a very streamlined installation process. As I mentioned before, the migration is available. Therefore, you won't have to key in all of your existing credit cards. It literally takes us 10 minutes to install the software, 30 minutes to train our, our merchants, and if necessary, we can train as many times. We are the only processor that offers American Express Ops Blue in Canada. We offer it also in the US. Now, the key here is we also guarantee the very lowest rates from American Express. So when you batch out at the end of the day, you will have the guaranteed lowest rates, and you will be able to batch out with all card brands, which means, yes, you will have the next day funding for all card brands. We offer the ability to process in Canada and in the US. We're also opening market in Latin America and Australia. Uh, we have offer a multitude of equipment options. This is state-of-the-art equipment at no charge to you. We set it up, maintain it, and support it, once again, at no charge to you. And we also help with cancellation fees. So the point I'm trying to make is we make it as simple as possible for you to, first of all, learn what your statement is telling you, find out if there's any money being left on the table, find out the level of savings, and I'll tell you the average savings per year can range from $4,000 to over $100,000. And we charge nothing to provide you with an analysis. 
So if you're interested, let us know. If we're not able to beat or match any competitor's rates, we will actually pay you $500 for allowing us to analyze the statements. We integrate to several other solutions, such as Magento, uh, InSync, Website Pipeline. We also have mobile solutions, iOS and Android available. As you can see, we, we integrate with Starship, with ScanCo, RedField, many other solutions out there. Um, and with that, Adrian, I'd like to hand it back over to you. Thank you, Patty. Great presentation, everybody. Thank you uh, for your presentations, and thank you, everybody in the audience, for joining us today. I'm going to go ahead and launch a poll and then announce the questions here. So if you could just take a moment to answer this poll, are you interested in learning more about any of the following? So if you're interested in learning about JAMS, the integrated manufacturing, uh, or integrated pick pack warehouse management software, integrated shipping, credit card processing, and then if you're a prospective new partner out there, uh, we'd love to know if you're interested in learning more about the uh, partner program Acumatica has to offer. So go ahead and click that one if you're interested. And if uh, you have questions out there, uh, we would love your questions. I see we have a, a few here. Uh, we have a question from Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin, for, for your question. Uh, this one is for Caroline at Starship. Um, Caroline, is there any plans uh, for... It looks like he says that it seems like Starship has a client app and two web-based apps. Uh, so are there any plans to embed the web apps into Acumatica user interface for seamless lookups? Any plans to convert client app to web? Hey, Adrian. Thanks, Kevin. That's a great question. Um, we are working on a version of Starship that um, would be um, running on the web or a hosted solution. Um, so that we are hoping to get out um, late summer this year. That's what our plans are. Um, it will have integration to Acumatica um, in that release. Um, we don't currently have plans to embed, embed the um, dashboard um, apps into um, Acumatica at this point. And we have a question for Tom. Tom, uh, could you explain in deeper detail about your make-to-order manufacturing capabilities? Yeah, be happy to. Uh, the uh, the system will take a uh, sales order directly into a production order uh, down onto the floor where you're going to be able, as a unique process, uh, time, uh, control, uh, and report expenses in each operation as it goes down to become a finished good. Um, it uh, also will allow you uh, to start this from the CRM perspective uh, into a sales order, uh, into manufacturing, and out for the customer. Uh, another uh, nice feature is the ability to give uh, reports as to where you are in the process directly to a customer that's uh, paying you to make it to their order. You can say that we've now finished it halfway. Uh, we're about to ship it. Uh, it's being shipped. Uh, the uh, ability for you to control cost, uh, labor, materials, uh, allow you to uh, do profitable make-to-order manufacturing. And could you describe in deeper detail also uh, the production scheduling aspects? Yes, uh, production scheduling along with MRP will allow you to build forecasts based upon customer orders, uh, based upon replenishment, uh, and from there create a master production schedule. Uh, this will allow you to put jobs on the floor uh, based upon delivery date uh, and schedule accordingly. Um, master production scheduling uh, will take into account lead times fixed lead times, outside operations, uh, and pretty much every type of uh, scenario that you could go through. Uh, MRP running on a regular basis uh, with good information uh, should eliminate stock outs. Uh, it should eliminate the issues with uh, customer orders not being able to be fulfilled. And, uh, and it's very, very flexible. 
since it only will run on items that you suggested it, it look at. And Christy, you mentioned uh, cycle counting. Can you um, describe a little bit more about your cycle counting and physical counts uh, and how that all kind of plays together? Absolutely. Great question. So with the counts, everything's going to be done the same way as you do in Acumatica uh, with getting your count number. Uh, the handheld's going to prompt you for that count number uh, to enter it in the handheld and then you'll be able to do your count. So whether you're doing a cycle count or a full-blown physical count, uh, you're gonna have both options. Um, and you can do that where you're counting by item or by location. So um, most of our customers we see like to do the count by bin for those cycle counts, uh, but you have both options on, um, on either. And Don, it looks like we have a question for you. We are a manufacturer and we're considering Acumatica ERP and uh, some of these solutions. Do you have any leasing options, Don, that you'd be able to share? Yeah, absolutely we do. Um, it really kind of depends. So we have options that would include the software. We also have other companies that we recommend that can bundle together the services that would go along with implementation. So yes, we can certainly help you select the right partner that has good rates so that you can lease everything and bundle it together. Absolutely. And when you get a lead at Acumatica, do you pass that off to a partner? Actually, we do because our only route to market is through partners. We've found that many customers prefer to work with somebody that's local who can be there for them. Um, and the partner relationship is a very strong one from Acumatica. We stand behind all of our partners and we're often engaged along with them in the sales process. So yes, if you're interested in working with a partner, we would absolutely love to talk with you, find out more about your needs, and then together we'll select the right partner for you to work with. And have all of you worked together in the past with a customer or two? Oh, well, let me start with that. I know we have multiple implementations where a variety of these, these solutions that you see have all worked very well together. Absolutely. And um, these ISVs that, that we, are, we have joining us today, these are companies that have gone to great lengths to ensure that their product is certified, that they're current on the version that Acumatica is current on. And yes, these products will work well together. Yes, it will. Perfect. Well, I see that we don't have any further questions at this moment. If you do have a question, we do have four minutes left for this webinar. Nice job, guys, in, uh, in presenting your solutions in that, this short amount of time. Uh, but just to remind the audience, there is a question mark button next to your name on the webinar pane. If you do have a question, we'd love to announce it for our panelists here. And we do have. Uh, Looks like we have 41% of you who have voted. So we'd love to hear from you if you're interested in any of these uh, six bullet points here that we have highlighted. If we could get your, your answers, that'd be awesome. And I just wanted to say many thanks to everybody who has attended today and given us your time and attention. Thanks also to our ISVs because of course this is a, a tight collaborative partnership. And we really appreciate anybody that is an existing partner that's on the phone, an existing customer, and everybody that's thinking of adding Acumatica either as a solution or to your portfolio to represent. Um, no matter what your interest is, we'll make sure to get you to the right person promptly so we can follow up with you. And, and again, appreciate the time. And I'm going to go ahead and close out this poll. I see 44% of you have voted. And then I'm going to share the results. So it looks like 33% are interested in the JAM system, 42% uh, in ScanCo, 25% in shipping. And Patty, we didn't have everybody answer. So 
Um, and then adding Acumatica to your portfolio, 50% of the audience is interested in learning more about that. So thank you for taking time out to answer those questions and, and be with us here today. I know an hour of your time is not easy to come by. And we might just finish up with some time to spare. I'm going to go and flash my screen up uh, with the contact information. See if you guys can can you guys see my screen with uh, all the contact information, Don? Not yet. No. Nope. Okay. Not well, maybe I won't be able to do that. <laughs> I think it's hidden. Adrian, your poll is up. I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me let me change that out. Thank you so much. Okay. So can you see it now? And, no, we're seeing the the go to meeting screen. But as you're looking at it together, Adrian, what I can say to the audience is certainly if you've provided a way to contact you, we'll be sure to get in touch um, based on your responses and what you're most interested in. We'll certainly get in touch and, and the contact information. I think, Adrian, you can send that out after the fact. Oh, and there we go. Yay, we have success. Yay. I have too many applications open. <laughs> So if anyone has any questions, here's the contact information. We are recording this webinar, and we will be sending a follow-up email with this contact information. So look out for that in your inbox shortly here. And just thank you so much again for joining us, and, and thank you presenters. You did a, a wonderful job today. And everybody, just take care. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank everyone. You. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Hey. manufacturing. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Bye-bye. <laughs> no problem. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs>